Good day, viewers. My name is Darlene Tinokoka, and I wish to welcome you to the Girl with Electrical YouTube channel. Today, we shall be discussing on how to size your PV panels, popularly called your solar panels. Now, your solar panels are usually weighted in watts, and this watt determines the capacity or shows the wattage when the, high, the amount of energy is going to generate. Now, for those of us who don't know what our PV panels are, for just look at people that use inverter or charging system at home. Those panels you see on top of your rooftop are usually called um, solar panels, as, as it can be seen on our screen. This is an example of your um, um, solar panels. You have the mono, you have the poly, but that's not our discussion for today. Our discussion for today is to talk about the sizing of your photovoltaic panels. So now, this weighted, this wattage rating that is on the panel tells you on the standard test condition, STC condition. And this STC conditions on our screen shows us that one, it must be, that it must have been carried out at 77 degrees Fahrenheit or 25 degrees centigrade. And there are 1,000 watts of sunlight per square meter that is hitting the panel. And the wind speed at a wind speed of one meter per second. So when, when you have these conditions in place, that is when this wattage of the panel is being rated. But unfortunately, it's not all the time you have 25 degrees centigrade. It's not all the time that 1,000 watts of sunlight hits the panel. And it's not every time that the speed at which it hits the panel is one meter per second. So that is why when you are saying this panel is 320 watts panel, it's approximate. It's at the standard test condition. So there are some other factors too that you take into consideration when you are going to size the panel. They include one, the solar panel's efficiency, the efficiency of that panel, how efficient is this panel. So at the data sheet of every panel, you see that it's written. This is the efficiency of this panel. So you require such efficiency in your calculation. The second factor too is the amount of sunlight that shines in the area of installation. So every day we have a statistics of the amount of sunlight that shines in your area. So you, you, there's a site that you go to to check the number of sunlight that appears that you get on a daily basis. So that is required for your calculation. Then the third is the direction in which the solar panel faces. Most people know that the sun rises from the east and sets in the west. So you should know where you are placing your solar panel, how, which direction you post it to attract the maximum sunlight. So we need to carry out a calculation to determine the number of solar panels required or the sizes also that you required for your building. From, there's a standard formula to calculate the required solar panel. This formula is required solar panels equal to approximate total load over daily watt hours. If daily watt hours has a formula of wattage of panels to be used times expected daily hours of sunlight times efficiency factor. So let's assume an example. One, wattage of solar panels to be used 250 watts. Expected daily hours of sunlight, eight hours. Efficiency factor, 75%, this can be gotten on the data sheet of the solar panels to be used, which is 0 0.75. Approximate total load. The total load of the company that we want to connect is 25,000 watts. So using our formula, required solar panel is equal to approximate total load over daily watt hours. At daily watt hours, we have our wattage of panels to be used. We assume 250. We have eight expected daily hours of sunlight and we have 0 0.75 efficiency. So when we multiply 250 by eight by 0 0.75, we have 1,500 watt hours per day. Therefore, our required solar panel is equal to our approximate total load, which is 25,000 over our daily watt hour, which is 1,500. And this will give us 16.6. .6. So the total solar panel that we would require is using a 250 watt panel is going to be 16.6 .6 panel, but 
is so in this case we can either use a 16 16 number of panels or 18 number of panels because we cannot use 17 which is the approximate value because 17 is not is an odd number so we either use 16 or 18 because the panels might need to be connected in parallel along the line to get our goal so i believe this has been a very easy calculation so whenever you want to size your panel it's very important that you take some things into consideration now you, are, you, are, you have seen you have seen that you need 16 panels we have taken consideration into our load remember this is the same load that you are going to use to calculate your battery size you see that we didn't put any consideration into our battery calculation on this calculation so there are other calculations you can use when you you are not going to use the same load maybe you already, already know the number of batteries that needs to be charged but because we already know that it's 25,000 watts that is the total load when i'm also going to do my battery sizing i'm still going to use 25,000. so don't be scared that I, i'm not talking about the battery sizing here in my calculation so there are other calculations you can do to consider but this is the easiest calculation so that when you're using equal load on your panel sizing you also use equal load on your battery sizing in that case you arrive at the number of panels that is required to charge the battery because it's the same battery that is going to power that load it's the same battery that you need the power the panel to charge it so i believe i've been able to educate you on how to size your panel and the number of panels you're going to use in an installation if you feel this video has been very useful to you kindly click on the subscription button and also click on the notification icon to get notified when subsequent videos are being posted. Thank you very much.